Welcome back. So much is going on. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Actually, I want one of these to show up. Where is this? This is what this nest is right now. Oh, it's gone. What is it? What's this nest gonna be? Oh, everything's gone. Hey, how about what's up? So much is going on. Hey, Aiden, how are you guys? Okay, let's watch this, uh, this, uh, change you really fast. It may, we actually may see this nest change, like, exactly. Oh, there it goes! It's a horsey nest! Did you guys see that? This is now a horsey nest. We got ourselves a horsey nest. More Kingdras. Hello, ahoy. Ahoy, ahoy. We got a king, a king, or a Kingdra. A, um, horsey nest now. So that's pretty cool. So much happened within the hour. It is crazy. Oh my gosh, there's so much news, guys. Oh my gosh. You guys probably already heard the news from like two days ago. Oh my god, now there's like even more crazy, crazy news. Um, oh, this, I didn't even realize this is a Snorlax, right? But there's nobody here, otherwise I would do that. That would be so awesome. Oh my gosh. Hey, welcome everybody. Hello, hello, hello. What is up? Very happy to have all you guys here. Oh my gosh, where do we even start? Yeah! <laughs> Bye, <kid. laughs> By the way, sponsors, you can go into the description and find out the new codes for the day. Uh, <laughs> Hot Pocket found, found one of them for sure. All right. Hey, welcome, Rise to Valor. How are you guys? How are you guys? Hey, RKW. Hello, hello. All right, cool news. First news that this actually changed over to a, uh, a horsey nest. I don't know if you guys saw that, but we got to see mm -hmm. it live. It was pretty cool. There he is. There they are. Leah, hello. <laughs> Do you like the uh, emojis? <laughs> Gen 3 is coming. I know, Raul. What is up? How are you guys today? Oh my gosh. I am running so lo low on Pokemon storage space, even bag space. Hey, Kristen, what's up? So, oh my gosh, we have so much to talk about. I am super excited. This is craziness. I do not know if you guys have actually heard. What was the CP on this before I, oh, okay, good. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait till Gen 3 either. Gen 3 hype, like, for reals. For the rizzles. All right, so let's get, like, right to some super, you went six for six on Entei? Holy moly, that's awesome. Mm. Yeah, hype. Oh, hey, random Gramble. Sweet. I know a lot of you guys don't actually get snubbles, so. Whoa, it's a big boy, too. Look at that. 1987? Dude, that's crazy. That is crazy. Yeah, let's talk about this. Let's catch this Gramble and then have a, a nice big conversation. Oh, I knew you were going to do that, Gramble. Nice big conversation about everything. <clears throat> I've definitely noticed a small amount of lag, though, with YouTube gaming since I did the update. So yes, let's start. Oh my gosh. Oh, so Pokemon Go Hub um, does a lot of mines, APK mines. So basically what they do is they go into the code and um, basically read what's gonna happen in the game before it actually happens. So here is something I am so unbelievably excited about. I feel like Hot Pockets would be excited about this too. They found the ghost type mm -hmm. Gen 3 that is going to be released on Halloween event. They found their shiny versions inside that. It was like the loading screen code or the loading screen. They found shiny, shinies for the gem, Gen 3. So that means mm -hmm. the shiny variants for um, like Shuppet, Bennett, uh, uh, Duskull, Dusclops, Sableye. They found shiny variants for those Pokemon. Like. What? That is crazy. So it looks like it's not just going to be Magikarp and Pikachu evolutions anymore. It is going to be more than that. So we may be in for a treat. I don't know <clears throat> how they're going to actually do that if they're going to be out in the wild or some of our earlier speculations is maybe they're going to be in eggs and stuff. But holy moly guys more shinies mm. to me 
shinies like that is like, it's like a brand new Pokemon. To me, I mean, a shiny Pokemon is like a brand new Pokemon. So shiny hype for real. This is absolutely crazy. Okay, moving on from the shinies. We'll cut back to the shinies. Actually, let me ask you guys, what do you guys feel about the, the shiny Gen 3 ghosts? Happy about it? Not so happy about it? Hi, bro. <laughs> I know. Oh my gosh, it's so crazy. What do you guys feel about... Why am I appraising this? I don't want to do that. Hey, Alan, how are you? No, come on. I know. Shiny, like, I'm so glad there's going to be extra shinies in the game. Cool dude likes the idea. There's a random Stantler here, too. Thank you. You're happy about shinies? That is awesome. I know that was one of the things we were guessing, actually, the other night when I was... Uh, walking around with David that one night We were totally guessing that shinies could be a part of it and I was like, oh my god I didn't think it would actually come true. That is so cool. No, I'm not going to Philly. I really really wish I was though I really do wish I was shiny hype. Hype! So moving on. Ho uh oh They have found that they have um, nerfed the stats For ho uh oh now while this is kind of like maybe bumming some people out a little bit. This is exactly what they did to Mewtwo right before they released Mewtwo in EX Raids. So Pokemon Go Hub is actually um, speculating that Ho-Oh may be coming out very, very soon. Oh, Chris Fusion, hey! Oh, you changed your name, hey! I like Chris Fusion better, to be honest. It's a little easier to say. Thank you so much for the super chat, love. You're awesome, it's great to have you, of course. But yeah, so they nerfed Mewtwo uh, and then released him. So if this is going according to their plan, then what it looks like may be happening is that they've nerfed Ho-Oh, so they may start releasing Ho-Oh. I'll be honest, I'll take Ho-Oh. I'll take a Ho-Oh. Forget Mewtwo. I've been evading Mewtwo for so long now. I'll say, see you later, Mewtwo. Give me Ho-Oh. I would be so stoked about a Ho-Oh for sure. Let me get your, your thoughts, guys. I'm so curious to know how happy would you be, especially those of you who don't have Mewtwo yet, how happy would you be if they started releasing Ho-Oh as an EX raid? Hey, yeah, hype! We're now in a horsey nest, guys, by the way. Hi, hey, Pekka. How are ya? <clears throat> I know, so this is this is good. I mean, it's... This is a really, really good start. I'm starting to, my faith is building back up for Pokemon Go. I'm very, getting very, very excited. I'm getting very, you can't do x-rays. You would hate a camera and why? No. You want Mewtwo, oh thanks. <laughs> do you, you know what, I'm over Mewtwo. The Mewtwo keeps um, passing me by. I have still not gotten a Mewtwo uh, EX Raid Pass yet, so I'm like over it. Give me Ho-Ho, man. Hey, Ivan, how are ya? Alright, so the Ho-Ho ho, -ho, ho -oh hype is now very real. We could start seeing ho -oh in EX Raids very, very soon. That's Bananaramas. That's Awesome Sauce. I would totally dig it. Personally, I really, really like Ho-Oh, so. And that's awesome. So, next, let's talk about Legendary Raids. I know I've said it I've heard some of the um, big tubers say it, like Versal and Nick and stuff like that, where you actually can see a legendary raid badge. And we finally got it. I actually just tweeted it. If you want to see what the, um, the pop-up screen looks like when you get the legendary raid badge, um, go check out my Twitter really fast. It's at SparkyJoy. I posted it there. We won't be able to see it here because I took a quick screen screenshot. Scott, what's up, man? <laughs> Scott, who Kristen just said hey to, um, Scott Wu Go, he uh, he does Pokemon Go videos too, and and I really really enjoyed um, his most recent mm. video where he did a very cinematic version of Pokemon Go. Scott, that was really awesome, Sauce Man. You did a great job. I loved it. Loved it. I loved it. I felt like I needed to like sit in a really comfy recliner and have some popcorn. Okay, I'm like way super excited. So you guys notice, first of all, look at this. Mm. Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, thank you, Iron Steve, by the way. All right, I'm like, oh, I gotta get through all this information. Check it out, now, not, we, first we have this, 
we have the Hone region. Register first five Pokemon discovered here. So we have a brand new badge sitting here like, what? This is going to be amazing. Just like the other ones. And then here it is. Check it out. Wardy, what's up? When you saw the Hone badge, you always had a heart attack. I know, isn't it crazy? And there we go. We have uh, the legendary raid badge now. So that's pretty awesome. <laughs> if you think about this though, that thousand means you spent pretty much close to a thousand bucks on the game. <laughs> I mean, give or take that free raid pass, like, wow, we kazowie. So, this is a pretty cool, I'm pretty proud of this. Oh, we have the same legendary, really, Hot Pocket? That's crazy. That's awesome. Hey, Brittany, welcome. I love my girls in here, girl power. Mm -hmm. Thanks for hanging out with us, Brittany. So yeah, we got the legendary raids and we definitely got this one. Oh my gosh, this means it's so close. The badge is in here, it's so stinking close. <laughs> Oh my god! I mean, but think about it though, they had to put it in here because obviously um, the Halloween event, they will be releasing those ghost types, so. So excited for Legendary Freaking Happy about- yeah, I know! Me too! I was like, why are they not counting it? Like, at least count it all together. So, thank you, goodness, thank you Niantic, Pokemon Go, everybody for this Legendary Raid badge. And if you do want to check my Twitter, you can see what it kind of looks like when that pop-up screen pops up, so. It's awesome! It is awesome. So yeah, there we go. Oh my gosh. Badges. Badges. Ho oh, oh. Um, Shiny ghosts. If you guys weren't here about 10 minutes ago, we were just talking about how Pokemon Go Hub and their data miners, they mm -hmm. found Gen 3 ghosts. The Gen 3 ghosts that are going to be released for Halloween, they found their shiny variants. Their shiny variants. That means... There's most likely going to be shinies for like Dusclops, Duskull, Sableye, Bannet, everybody, Shuppet. We may be finding shiny ver virgins mm. of those Pokemon. And that makes me so super excited. I can't even believe it. Grumpy Cat. That was a David request, by the way. Grumpy Cat? Grumpy Cat was a David request. <laughs> we put that one in for David. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yep, yep, yep. What's up? Hey, who's hype for more shinies? Well, yes. Oh my gosh. Shiny hype is legitimate mm. right now. I, to me, they're, I mean, to me, it's like they're brand new Pokemon. It's like they're brand new Pokemon. I love trying to find shinies, not gonna lie. I know this is cray cray. So by the way, guys, this was, um, uh, a chinchow nest and now this is a horsey nest so horsey hype as well hot pockets got the hype trainer zombie welcome how are you also um in that mine where they found the shiny variants of the ghost three gen uh the ghost gen three types they uh found that the witch hat was going to be available on pichu and raichu obviously raichu but there is going to be a Pichu with a witch hat. So, guys, we will be walking some eggs to get that witch hat Pichu. I'm sure they'll probably bump up the ability um, or availability of those, I'm sure, during the event. I'm sure they will. I'm sure of it. I'm sure of it. So, uh, let's get away from this road because this gets way too loud. We'll go back the other way. So, yeah, what do you guys think? This is pretty, pretty darn cool. And not to mention, there's gonna be a Mimikyu hat. So I, I, right now I'm sporting the adventure hat. Not gonna lie, I'm probably gonna stick with the adventure hat. I'll probably try on the Mimikyu hat, but I'll probably eventually, st I'll probably stay with the adventure hat. But it will be a Mimikyu hat. It looks crazy awesome. You can see it in the screen, but actually uh, Pokemon Go Hub has found it in the um, mining, so. Uh, we will have that availability too. That'll look super dope for real. I know, that's exciting. Then mm. did you guys uh, hear that they're adding a battle party feature? They found code for a battle party feature. I don't know if you've heard this about this, but this is actually something I was saying I wanted, which was, hey, there's an onyx somewhere around here. Where's that? Oh, this is an onyx nest next door. Cool, okay, sweet, so now we know that. So the battle party feature is you're going to be able to select six Pokemon 
that are going to be like your starting team. Like you'll be able to roll with that six into any raid if you want. So this is nice where you'll have the opportunity to pick your top six that you like using the most and somewhere you'll have the option to um, throw it into a raid which is going to be super amazing instead of like Pokemon uh, like instead of the game always pre-picking who is going to be in a raid for you so that's really nice I kind of like that hello WPG girl what's up welcome welcome <laughs> GG GG so yes yeah, so that's pretty cool and then they found also code for a buddy distance um, which is kind of, is what they do with Eevee so I'm wondering if something they don't really know what this is for but it could be something related like you know how they have a buddy distance obviously for Eevee so there may be something that we have to walk that evolves into something mm. else we don't know yet but uh, that could be happening so that's super exciting. Love that. Love it, love it, love it. Hey, your hand, how are you? Guys, welcome. This is so exciting. Can this please just start already? What's your guys' guess mm. when it's gonna start? What day? Well, buddy distance probably just friendship, you think so? Maybe. But buddy distance is mm. calculated though for Evie, for sure. Sounds awesome. Sounds awesome. Sounds awesome. Hey, Doughboy, how are you? Kim, you think it's going to be on the 26th? That's a good guess. That's a good guess. I'm really hoping they roll with it for 10 days. I hope it's not a week event. I hope it's a 10-day event. At least. At least a 10-day. Scott, you're going with tomorrow? Really? All right. I, I'm a, if, maybe Scott knows something we, don't, we all don't know. I'm on the Scott train, 24th. First of all, I'm completely confused how it became the middle of October. <laughs> I'm like, what is happening? I know, my bag is completely full. This is why I need more bag space. Um, drives me nuts because I have so many TMs, Golden Raz, Rare Candies. I have all this stuff. I just need some bag space. Do um, you think 24th were all a Gen 3? That'd be pretty cool. Hey, Blue Chicken, what's up? What's up, what's up? What is up? You think it's on the 26th too? Yeah. I was thinking maybe like the 25th or 26th, but I don't know. I know it'll go into November for sure. I know. <laughs> the month is going by pretty fast. I couldn't even believe it. I couldn't even believe how fast it was going. So yeah, if you guys just jumped in here, uh, we also talked about Ho-Oh mm -hmm. and how they nerfed the stats for Ho-Oh, but this isn't necessarily a bad thing because they nerfed the stats for Mewtwo when right before they released Mewtwo and the EX raids. So we could potentially be getting Ho-Oh. I'm super hyped if Ho-Oh comes out. I, I, I'm gonna be so excited. I'm trying to remember when it was last year, to be honest, and I can't remember what day it started at all. I did not, I did not register that to my Pokedex memory. <laughs> Does anybody know what day it started? Shiny Ghost. Hey, see a cool dude? Shiny Ghost. So yeah, if you didn't hear yet, many of you heard, they found uh, in the APK mine and Pokemon Go Hub put out all this information that there are shiny variants of the Gen 3 ghosts that are coming out. So all the Gen 3 ghosts that were going to be coming out, which is like Shuppet, Bannet, Duskull, Dusclops, and who am I forgetting? Oh, Sableye. There is a shiny variant of all of those guys. Oh, you hope it's not an EX raid for Ho-Oh. Really? I'm surprised Ho-Oh didn't come out before Mewtwo, but I don't know. I'm kind of cool with it being an exclusive raid. I'm kind of cool with it, but then again, I say that and I, don't, I haven't even had a, a Me Too raid pass, so. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah, wah. I know, this is amazing, amazing news. Flory, we need, I need more space for my, my uh, bag. 
and my Pokemon storage. I keep deleting stuff. I don't know what's, why it's not equal right now, to be honest, but I keep deleting stuff that I do not want to delete. And that's kind of breaking my heart, to be honest. Hey, Wallace, shout out to Brazil. How are you? Plus, especially with shinies and stuff like that, like, I don't... If I find some shinies, I'm not going to be wanting to delete them. <laughs> Dead guy, what's up? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, we had a good time last night. Mm. That's for sure. How are you, Emip? Nice to see you. Uh, wasn't EX, then ho oh shouldn't be. You, you make a good point, um, to be honest. Probably Lugia should have been uh, an EX raid pass and, and not ho -Oh, But I guess que sera, sera it is what it is. I like, I guess I should say, I like the idea of legendaries being a little bit more challenging to get to some extent. I mean, because I could go in my town here and do like six right in a row because they're all like sitting right next to each other, which I think is crazy, crazy, crazy. Let's see if we can get in here. What is this? We can. Oh, someone put a king trap. Hey, Pokemon Go NYC James. What is up, my man? He is also a Pokemon Go YouTuber, by the way, guys. And a good friend, for sure. Let's check out the, le whoops. Let's check out the legendary raid badge. Let's put this Arcanine that I grabbed the other day. We'll just drop him in here. How are ya, how are ya? Nice to see you, sir. All right, let's check out that badge. Let's check out the badge. So if you guys didn't already know, uh, they added two new badges. It looks awesome. Bart, what's up? Not trying to click on that. Mm. Come on, game. Help us out. So here are the two new badges. Here's the Hone one. So register five Pokemon first discovered in the Hone region to the Pokedex. So just like all the other regions, we have another one. So that is super awesome news. Then finally, which I've been hoping for forever because I'm like, why do legendary raids not count? Fair, hello, what's up? I couldn't believe why these were not counted. It made zero sense to me, but now finally, at least somewhere in the back end, they were keeping count. Um, and here we go, we get this, this is pretty cool. If you check out my Twitter, at SparkyJoy, I actually took a screenshot of when the um, actual pop-up came up. So you can check it out. Hey, Cora, how are you? Nice to have you. Broken my face. Welcome. So yeah, 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 yeah. By the way, James has one of these. Whoop. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I, I, I like that I have that as well. It is awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. Oh, we're going we're gonna to have an egg go mm. off too. Ooh, a slugma. whoopity do. I get these all the time. They're so popular out here. And he's strong. All right, see you later. Bye, Slugma. You've only got four legendary raids. Oh, boy. You gotta start doing some raids. Let's see, what do I wanna do? Let's drop another egg. Hey, London Instinct, how are you? Nice to see ya. Raul, hello, welcome. I have all these incubators that I'm gonna save for all, save for all of the excitement going on. <laughs> Eric, hello. <laughs> oh my gosh. Some of these I got in California. That's pretty cool. Yours says 187. Wow. All right. Who's got the highest? Mm. Who's got the highest in here? Show me once. What's up, man? Who's got the highest amount of legendary raids? Who's got the highest amount of legendary raids? I'm very curious. What was mine? 152? I'm pretty proud of that. That's pretty dang good. Four. Uh-oh. <laughs> you got to get some, you got to get a few more under your belt. You get a free pass every day. 
I get it though. I get it's hard to to find people. Totally get it. 273. What? 210. Wow, London mm. Instinct, you got 218. I think I saw already someone on Twitter had like 573. If you think about that in terms of dollars, I mean, that's like let's be real, like close to 500 bucks at least. Um, not, you know, if we're like including his free one a day raid passes. Yeah, James, yours is probably fairly high, I would imagine. Oh, zero because you're in rural. Oh, boy, oh, boy. 101's good, Sarah. That's good. So you got the badge. So you got the at least your silver, right? That's cool. Someone from Jan Japan has 1,300. What? Michael, hello. Wow, 1,300. <laughs> There's, these are going to be floating all around Twitter right now. They're going to be all over Twitter. Hot Pocket. Oh, yeah, by the way, sponsors. Don't forget to jump into the description and check out the emojis. Hot Pocket just dropped them down. 877. Mm. Whoa. 92? Wow. You guys are legit. I was like all proud of my 152. I'm like, yeah. But then, you know, I've done 152 and... A hunt, over a hundred uh, regular raids and still have not gotten EX raid pass and I've done raids all over the place what the heck you want to know how many they have yeah they probably actually don't have a t why can't I not throw this today they probably don't have a ton to be honest I think they do less less um, less raids pretty much just for the videos Reversal is 85. That's actually pretty good. That's pretty good. You guys, um, if you're on Twitter, tweet me your legendary raid badge. I want to see all your numbers. It's at Sparky Joy. Just drop, drop me your legendary badge numbers. Drop them down. Come on, I'm trying to appraise you. All right, let's get you out of here. We're out of horsey nest, by the way, guys, which is pretty cool. 141 regular. Wow, Hot Pocket, you you have me beat, man. You have me beat. Thank you, dead guy. There's there's the Twitter. If you guys want to tweet me what you got, I'd love to see. 168. Wow, a lot of you guys have me beat. That is awesome. Mm. I gotta dump some stuff out of my bag. Oh my gosh, is Omnilicious in here? <laughs> yeah! Do I have to revive anybody? Probably a couple people. Oh, my hair crosses came out. Oh, Omnilicious is in here. What is up, Omnilicious? By the way, guys, we don't call him Omnisec or Omni. We call him Omnilicious. Most of my friends know mm. that by now. <laughs> Have I sent? No. I, I'm too chicken to send legendaries to the professor. That's why I have, like, no bag space whatsoever. I can't do it. I don't have the guts. I do not have the guts yet. Maybe one day I will, but I, I can't, right now I can't part with them. You'll drop legendary. Yes, do that, Hot Pocket. Do it, do it, do it. Hello, hello. Welcome all you guys. So, if you just jumped in and you're newer, I'll quick run through kind of what w uh, all the news is and all the excitement is. Um, the mm. Gen 3 shiny, or the Gen 3 ghosts have shiny variants that they found in the, the uh, loading screen mine. So that's going to be amazing sauce. They found that there is a Pichu, Pikachu, and a Raichu with a witch hat on. Awesome. I love that. They found, they found the Mimikyu hat. Awesome. We kind of already knew that from the loading screen, but uh, I think that was finally verified. 401 legendaries. Wow, Frank. That is awesome. Yeah. Ghost types Gen 3 Halloween event. We're going to get some shiny variants. That is going to be so amazing. I am so hyped about that. Mm. Then they found that um, Ho-Oh was nerfed. All of its stats were nerfed. But if you remember, they did that to Mewtwo right before they released him in uh, EX Raids. So that is a whole bunch of awesome stuff. And you know what I really like, to be honest, is the battle party feature that they found where you can pre-select six Pokemon to go into battle. So you can actually go in with the same group every single time instead of going with um, the pre-selected ones 
by the game. So that I'm pretty excited about. That sounds fun. We don't know the start date. We don't know the start date yet, but we know it's gonna be over Halloween. I hope it's a 10 day thing, but no, probably not. <laughs> Um, yeah, this is so cool though. So, so cool. You have to move for Pokemon Go. <laughs> Announce the time, man. Gen 3 is going to drop. You better move. Better get a move on. Yeah, I've, you heard October 28th. I've heard so many different things. I've heard anywhere between the 24th and the 28th. And then I think Scott said, Scott Wu said tomorrow. So <laughs> he's got us all his money on tomorrow. <clears throat> Yep, yep, yep. So, this is awesome. This is awesome. You DM'd. Awesome! Um, Joe, it is just the... They only found the variants for the Gen 3 ghosts. So that would be um, Sableye, Shuppet, Bennett, Duskull, and Dusclops. They only found the shiny variants for those guys. So... That's all they got right now. That is all they got. So we can at least be assured that we're going to get those Gen 3 ghosts and most likely their shiny variants, which is awesome. That's like brand new Pokemon to me. I like collecting shinies, not going to lie. But all I have is one shiny magic card. So I'm saying that. <laughs> Family wants to like your grumpy cat. Mm. Yeah, Raul. So pretty much right now, they're right at the point where they have to push the button. I know Pokemon Go Hub was talking about... Um, they may, there might be something else that they do because they would have to mine and figure out what their abilities are, but it's pretty much a button push away. So that is awesome. You're going to cry if all you can see is Murkrow. Yeah, did you see the, those memes with the Murkrow? <laughs> I already see enough Murkrow. It's so funny too because that loading screen that comes up is hilarious because you totally see like Murkrow like lurking in the background. Wow, that was weird. Uh, lurking in the background thinking... Like, oh man, I'm gonna trick all these guys. Need to roll out. Yeah! Hey, Pigo! Pokemon Go with Javi, Yavi, Javi? What's up? So hyped, I know. I know, I know, I know. Um, I hate Murkrow too, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, I definitely hate Murkrow. I caught enough of them just trying to get my dark badge. I'm done with that though. <laughs> <Rebel>. <laughs> I like your I like your uh, emoticons there. I like them. I like them. You know. So I think Halloween's going to be pretty fun. I actually really hope, though. Here's my biggest hopes for the Halloween event: is that they give us more Pokemon storage, more bag storage, give us double candies and double XP too. I want all that stuff. Give it all to me. And number one mm. on that list is. Well, there's a Murkrow already. He's like, he's trolling me, man. He heard us talking about him. But Pokemon storage is so important to me because I am like right at my limit. Mm. Nada Mom, welcome to the stream. Dead guy, I didn't see what you said, but make sure you check out people like Dead Guy Plays, Feel Me Once, Nada Mom. Mm. Who else is in here? Mixin LV. Um, who, who else is in here that does Pokemon Go streams? All these guys, most of my guys here in blue also do Pokemon Go related content. So you're definitely going to want to check them out. Faux show. Steven, welcome to the stream. Yeah, we're full of excitement. Hey, Dana, thank you so much. I didn't see you earlier, but thanks for hanging out with us. It's a beautiful sunset going on. You guys want to see it real fast? You guys want to see this crazy cool sunset? There it is. Pretty cool, huh? Umbrian can caught in the wild as a ray boss? Oh, maybe. That might happen. That is, the grumpy cat is the David face emoji. As if you didn't know that already. <laughs> I know, Hot Pocket, I know. Grumpy cat is the David face emoji. It is already. Yeah. So let me let me take a like a head count here. Who's excited about these shinies? These potential Gen 3 shiny variants. I am so happy. This came as such a big surprise to me because we were totally speculating about this and thinking like, eh, you want your Mewtwo? What? Oh boy. 
that they're probably not going to do it, but it would be cool if they did. And then they did. I was like, wow. They surprised me. They surprised me. I hit, come on, transfer, get out of here, man. Yay for shiny. I know, shiny hype for real. I'm so excited about this. So, so, so excited. So happy to hear this. I am ready for this event to like start now. By the way, I was telling everybody the last stream, start drinking lots of water, get your energy drinks ready, get your sleep now because you know when this event drops, none of us are gonna be sleeping. We're all gonna be out like all night long. Especially when all of Gen 3 drops. Oh my gosh, can you imagine? Can you imagine? Oh my gosh. When do you guys speculate all of Gen 3? When do you think they're just gonna unload Gen 3 on us? Daffy Duck, hello. I love Daffy Duck. I just gotta get rid rids of some stuff. I hate getting rid of these things, but gotta do it. Need some, need some poke balls. We'll get them all back. I'll get rid of a couple more here. Game's definitely laggy after the update a little bit. You all, oh, you're thinking Gen 3 is not going to drop until next year? Really? Mm. You like batch releases? Personally, I like batch releases too. That will control me better because <laughs> if it's not, I'm going to go completely ham and like try to catch everything and then in like three weeks be sad because I pretty much caught everything. Why Murkrow? I know. You know what the thing is though? They didn't say that they found shiny variants of Murkrow, Ghastly, Haunter, or Gengar. So I don't know, the shiny, the shiny Gengar is still up in the air. Unless you guys have heard anything different. Um, I'd love to know. You think Gen 3 is gonna drop next month or 2018? Hmm. Maybe, maybe. But if you think about it, if they drop it before Christmas, like kids want like Google Play cards and stuff like that for Christmas. So I don't know, if I'm thinking like with a business mind, maybe they're gonna drop this before Christmas so that everybody can go and spend, spend, spend on their Google Play cards. Cause you know, everyone's gonna be hatching eggs like crazy. Everyone's gonna be buying bag space, storage space, whatever, whatever, whatever. So I think if they're gonna make the right business decision, they're gonna do it before Christmas and with a good amount of time before Christmas, I think. Hey Cassie, hello. Welcome to the stream. Hey, who did this? <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention. I was like, wait, these were not uh, a real big tuna. Cool. What I, I gotta put, what, oh, what should I put in here then? They put a scissor and a, I'll put a pincer in. We'll keep it buggy. Safari Zone? Yeah, oh my god, the Safari Zone looked so money. So money. Uh, one of my friends, Scott, I, I talk with him on Twitter a lot. Oh my gosh, that's Safari Zone in the Sweden, the Mall of Scandinavia, that was bananas. Bananas! Justin, what is up? Welcome to the stream, nice to have you. Hi, Courtney. There's a shiny Gyarados in here. Oh, they're so matchy-matchy. That's cute. What should I throw in there then? What do you guys think I should put in this gym? What should I put in this red gym to be kind of matchy-matchy? What's, what's, what's a good idea? Let's match. What do you guys think? Dom, what's up guys? What is up? Happy to have you all here with me. By the way, if you are new to the channel, make sure you hit the notification bell. Um, any breaking news or anything like that, uh, I'm going to try to jump on and let you guys know. And especially when all this Halloween stuff, normal Gyarados, when all this stuff um, drops, I'm definitely going to be streaming for you. Matchy matchy. <laughs> <laughs> when the Halloween events comes, yeah, Gen 3 hype, no sleep. No, sleep till Brooklyn! Um, Fortress is red? 
But the, I think this is more fishy, fishy type, right? More fish or water. Let me show you a drop, drop of Vaporeon and you think. Yes, I've seen the new badge. Let's actually, let's pick, let's pick a water type. Whoops. Let's pick a water type here. Let's throw, there we go. I think that's a good one. That kind of matches, that's red and watery. Yeah, I'm happy with that. <laughs> yeah, so Justin, we were talking about that. Um, I'll show you. You can actually, Justin, you can check out my Twitter too. I took a picture of the, the badge. I didn't put, it was too late for me to put the Kingdra. <laughs> but Kingdra would have been a good one. So yeah, here we go, guys. The new badges. Well, first of all, this one. I keep showing this one first because this is so cool. The um, the Hone uh, region. This is so cool. So cool. That means we are so close to Gen 3. I can taste it. Thank you, Fuel Me Once. And then this one. Check it out! Um, if you weren't here earlier, I was talking about how I thought it was completely ridiculous that we never actually knew how many legendary raids we did. I went into, I would go into my um, Pokemon and actually count uh, in the Pokedex. I would have to add everything up and be like, oh yeah, I did like 150 of them. That was so silly, why? But this is awesome. This is awesome. Thank you, Niantic Gods, for finally dropping this down. It's like such a simple badge, but I love it. I love it. And if you're new in here, drop down what you got. I'm curious what you got. What, what's your legendary badge numbers looking like? Yeah, it was cool. When I opened up the game, it gave me the um, 100 legendary raid thing right away. I was like, yeah, this is cool. I was so surprised. I was surprised and I was happy. You have to drive home from school. Ah, Nato Mom, awesome. Thanks for hanging out with us. Make sure you check out Nato Mom's channel. She is awesome sauce. Love her. Lover, lover. She is awesome. Hello, hola, hola. Draconius Go. Um, I started playing it. I think it's interesting. It's very, very, very much... Draconius Go is very much like Pokemon Go. So I'm very interested in just trying it, seeing what it's all about. Um... I played it for a couple minutes. It's definitely pretty smooth, and I know there's like PvP options, which is crazy. Um, so I, I'm kind of interested in seeing it just to be able to, re to relate it to Pokemon Go. So I'm definitely going to give it a go. If you guys saw the Trainer Chips video earlier today, he actually did a review of the game. Uh, he thinks it's pretty cool, so if you guys have the time, definitely download it and check it out. <clears throat> Sleepy time. Hey, London Instinct. Thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks, Scott. Yeah, the mods will help you out with that. Caps just ends up um, making it hard because it's for me to see the chat because it it uh, sticks out so much. It's so big. I got to show you this um, sunset again, guys. This is crazy. Yeah, thank you, Luis, Torres, Gonzalez. How nice is this, guys? Here's your zen moment for the evening. We can all take a little, a little breather after all this Gen 3 hype and excitement. I mean, this is so cool. Actually, I feel like I need to take a screenshot of that. We'll share that on Twitter. If you guys want to see that, London Instinct, you're obviously in there. <laughs> if you guys want to see that, I'll drop that on, on Twitter after the stream. So, that'll be cool. Yes, no problem. The good sunset, Tom. You got it. You got it. Actually... And if you go back to the very beginning of my stream, I don't know if you guys have ever seen a nest change live, but we did a live nest change and that was pretty darn cool. Uh, you sit there, you go to a nest and you sit on uh, the Pokemon that you know is at that current nest. So for me is the Chincho and boom, it'll automatically change into whatever that new nest is and it happened to be horsey. So, you know, and does it right at five o'clock. For me right at 5 p.m so you know so you know <gasps> go valor team you did you missed everything i'm sure you already know about the gen 3 ghost shiny variants i'm sure you know about the pikachu hats the pichu and the raichu I'm sure you know about the nerfing of ho-oh about the battle party upgrade about the legendary badge the hoenn badge all of this crazy stuff 
is going on. And um, I mean, literally, we're like a millisecond. We're like a button push away from all of this stuff. Just go, uh, drop it already, right? Just drop it. Hey, Raxton, you saw the video, which one? Yeah, Rise to Valor, actually, he does um, Pokemon Go stuff as well. Make sure you check out Rise to Valor. Good guy, he's a good guy. Deli Bird and Smeargle, I agree, but you know what? They have not found mm. anything about Deli Bird and Smeargle in any of the code or anything, so, I mean, I wonder if they're just planning on leaving them out until they can figure it out. Uh, someone predicts the event starts Friday, maybe. I mean, that's a good guess. I hope it's at least 10 days to two weeks. That would be ultimate. Oh, you mean the stream, awesome, yay. Red Lion, welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yesterday was a crazy day. Yesterday I was finding all these evolved versions of everything, it was pretty crazy. We found a 2100 Arcanine in the wild, a Poliwhirl, a Houndoom that I couldn't get to. Oh man, it was good stuff. It was good stuff. Yeah, Rise of Valor, no problem, man. Braden Games, welcome to the stream, guys. If you're new, oh my gosh, the excitement is so real. Mm. I'm super excited. Now, I mean, it's so funny because now we're kind of casually talking about how cool Gen 3 ghost types are going to be, but now there's going to be a shiny variant to them. Like, what? Come on. Come on, that is so cool. I'm very, I'm very stoked about that. If you have not heard already. Ooh, they changed this one too. Or is that always red? Go away, Murkrow. Joe, I hear you. The ultimate destroyer, hello. I hear you, go away, Murkrow. And guys, we're gonna get an abundance of Murkrow for the Halloween event. Raise your hand if you're excited for that. Woo! Okay, just kidding. I'm not. <laughs> I'm mm. not at all. I would not care if I didn't see another Murkrow ever, ever again. They're a pain in the butt to catch. Not gonna lie. They drive me nuts. Flory, thank you. Have a great night. Or morning or day or whatever it is for you. Holy lag, a Rooney. Yeah, so cool. Yeah, if you didn't hear, if you knew. Not only are we getting the Gen 3 ghost types, the mine found by Pokemon Go Hub found their shiny variants. Like, come on, that is Bananaramas. Guys, thanks for all, thank, thanks for liking the vid. Do appreciate you guys coming in here, dropping a like, hanging out with my awesome gang, chilling with us. If you are new, make sure you hit the notification bell because I am going to come back and do uh, let you guys know of any news that drops for sure. And then once the actual event drops i am going to i am going to be right here for you guys catching everything i possibly can not sleeping not eating okay maybe i'll eat maybe i won't sleep though is there a way to predict no so the mewtwo um the ex raid passes for mewtwo right now are currently um here's more of the sunset are currently kind of everywhere and um, thanks for the likes, guys. Yeah, mix in. Woohoo! We did it. Thank you. Um, yeah, they're kind of everywhere. There's churches, baseball fields, castles. It's a little bit of everything everywhere. So they're not really at sponsored. In fact, I don't know if anybody has gotten them at a sponsored gym or not. So, yeah, I'm not quite sure. But there is a potential of Ho-Oh becoming an EX raid boss somewhere in the near future because... The stats were nerfed. That's exactly what they did before they dropped Mewtwo. So, I don't know, maybe the next batch of EX raids, field testing, quote unquote, will be Ho-Oh. -Oh. You never know. Which Gen 3 uh, Pokemon do I like the most? I actually, um, I really like Sableye. He's such a cool little guy. He reminds me of, of uh, Gremlin. And I remember watching uh, Gremlins. I love all, all these movies from the 80s, like Ghostbusters and stuff like that. And uh, Gremlins is one of them. It reminds me of a gremlin. <laughs> Maybe this Friday. Indeed, indeed. That would be so cool. That would be so cool. 
I know, I know. I gotta drop a guy down in this other one. You gotta drop it down. Oh, more horsies. So this turned into a horsey nest, guys. That's pretty cool. I'll take it. You like Absol? Absol's cool. I think a lot of people are speculating, though, that he's going to be um, regional exclusive. I don't know if they're going to do regional exclusives. Maybe they will. I don't know. They got weird with the regional exclusive exclusives with all the events, so I know that kind of pissed a lot of people off. I don't know what they're going to do now, but... Hey, I saw The Goonies. That's a great movie. I Actually, I like watching 80, 80s movies when I feel like stressed out or stuff like that because I feel like they're like more stories about like people and things and is, I don't know, I, they're, they're just more comforting to me than going and like watching some crazy mind controlling action movie. I just go watch some like 80s movie like Breakfast Club or something like that. That'd be awesome. Yeah, I mean, maybe they're going to start with some regional exclusives again and then start unlocking them after a year. I mean, that's kind of like their their habit, so I can see that happening. But then again, I think, you know, we already fell for, we all fell for the trick. So, I don't think anybody's going to go and travel or do anything super special just to get like an Absol or whatever. We all we all fell for that trick once. Oh my gosh, the sunset is ridiculous. I keep showing it to you guys, but it's really, really nice. <clears throat> you love the Breakfast Club. It's good stuff. Back to the Future. I love that movie. I love it. I love it. I love it. Mm. I love it. More horsies and growlets. I'll take it. I'll take it. Who are you for Gen 3? I think we all are. Yopi, what's up? Thanks. <laughs> I like the name Yopi. Absol is your favorite from Gen 3. I like Blaziken. But Absol looks really cool. Like Absol is a like a really flippin' cool looking Pokemon. Bueller. Bueller. Ferris Bueller. Yeah. I think I've just gone back and seen all of the 80s movies just because they're like cool. They're calming for some reason. They're definitely calming. Swampert. Everyone loves Swampert. Everyone loves Swampert. I like Swampert. I'm down with Swampert. I think a lot of people like Absol though. He's definitely one of the one of the faves, isn't he? Absol, um, Salamence, Slacking. Chad, Bueller, Bueller. <laughs> Man, that's funny stuff. What do you think they would jump? You know, we were all talking about that earlier. I'm kind of thinking they may, um, they may drop it in like batches, maybe like two or three batches. But then again, at the same time, that might be hard because you have the evolutions of some. So, I'm not quite sure how they would do that. And gosh forbid we confuse them anymore <laughs> so but the problem is if they drop it down all at one time I mean we're it's gonna be complete madness it's gonna be like day one of Pokemon Go I mean well maybe not day one but maybe like day 14 of Pokemon Go I don't know if you guys were all out at that time but like every nook and cranny of every single park were like people walking around it was craziness it was so cool I know we're all gonna go, everyone's gonna go mad is there a Gramble in here? We'll leave that in there. You like Absol and Sableye? That's awesome. Why don't you make like a tree and leaf? <laughs> I love it, Arthur. I miss you. How are you? Thanks for hanging out with us. Arthur, my singer. Red Panda Gaming. Happy birthday. They gonna do what they gonna do. It's a, that's a good point. I, I'm thinking too that they're not wanting to make it um, extra complicated for themselves because they seem like they're struggling enough already. So, <laughs> oh my gosh, I know. I know, I know. But if you guys just jumped in here to shiny ghost hype, I know some of you guys call them sprites, some of them are called shinies, but uh, we may just be getting 
shiny Gen 3 ghost types for this Halloween event. That will be awesome. Happy birthday next month then, Courtney. That will be amazing. I love shinies. I just hope they're, I wonder if they're gonna be abundant or they're really gonna make it a little challenging to, to catch. I don't know. Maybe they're gonna try to please us, get us all happy again by allowing us to, oh, I knew you were gonna run away. I knew it. The new load, the new loading screen isn't um, on the game yet, but um, they did find it. They did find it. Hey, Prince, how are you? I'm gonna be able to make another Kingdra, which I haven't been able to do. I have not been able to do. I only have one Kingdra. So I have like 800 dragon scales, I feel like. I feel bad about getting rid of legendaries and evolution items. <gasps> Joel CS, what's up? Shout out to Brazil. What about our EX passes? Yeah, Arthur, I don't know, man. They keep skipping me somehow. It's like Minesweeper. That's what I was telling everybody. For me, it's like Minesweeper. I'm just gonna see how long I can do, I can go without uh, without getting one. I feel like that's more of an accomplishment for me now. <laughs> is seeing how long I can go without actually getting it. Or we can just be like a uh, slightly warm Hot Pocket, get a Mewtwo and transfer it right away because... <laughs> That's right, my boss moderator, slightly warm Hot Pocket, did something that all makes us cringe. <laughs> he did the thing. He did it. Oh, that was weird. You transfer two sweet coons and one Raikou. Oh man, I still have not transferred a legendary yet. A lot of the people I raid with, they do like 10 legendary raids uh, uh, a day and they'll just do a thing. They'll like even leave. They won't even catch, try to catch them. Like if it's not at least 96 or 98% or above. Or they just nonchalantly try and, but then they just transfer them right after for that extra candy. So I'm like, oh my God, you guys are, they are hardcore. They are just so hardcore. You transferred six molt. Oh my gosh. I don't even know who I would transfer. I have a lot of Articunos. I have a lot of Articunos. I feel, I don't want to use a, I like Batch of the Future too. It was a dare from your brother. <laughs> I would probably cry. I can't do that. I just can't do it. I don't know what's, what's with me. That's why I'm on team. Give me more Pokemon storage space. They are savage. I can't even believe that they do that. I'm like, wow, I'm too chicken. I'm too chicken. Dude, Gen 3 hype, it is real. So we are gonna be getting um, Gen 3 ghost types and their shiny variants. And a Pichu with the witch hat, that's so cool. Now we're gonna walk eggs like crazy. Um, I'm just at a park, oh my gosh, you guys gotta see this crazy sunset. I'm gonna give you guys a zen moment here real quick. I'll give you guys a zen moment. Can you guys see this? How cool is this? That is so beautiful, isn't it? I love it, I love it. I love it. Swampert. One day soon we'll have Swampert. Anyway, so just a quick run over everything. Gen 3 ghost type, shiny variants, mm. Pichu's with hats, Raikou's with hat, or not Raikou, Raichu's with hats. Pikachu's with hats. Battle party option, new badges, legendary badge, hone badge. We got everything going for us, which is so super cool. Oh, it just became night, that's awesome. Um, Ho-Oh potentially being released as an EX raid boss. So we got all kinds of awesomeness going on. I hope you guys are as excited as I am. If you are new, um, I would definitely love if you guys hit the notification bell for me. Um, when anything drops or comes out, I will jump on it and let you guys know right away. You can also follow me on Twitter. It's at SparkyJoy. And um, I usually try to drop some stuff down. Plus, I'm going to drop a picture of the sunset down on Twitter. So if you guys missed it, I am going to drop it down. And send me, if you, send me your legendary raid numbers on Twitter. I want to see them. I want to see what everybody has. I know someone has like 500 something. Someone said someone has 1,300. I have 152. We'll end on that. I might always keep going for there, there for it. I have 152. 
<clears throat> there it is. 152. I have a, I have uh, about 850 more dollars to go to get to the cold badge. <laughs> it did just turn nighttime. I got $850 more to spend, 848 to be exact, to get to uh, my gold badge. So, I'm going to the bank, guys. Going to the bank. Oh, I lost my face. But anyway, all right. Thank you all for hanging out with me today. We'll be back tomorrow. Talk about some more stuff. If any other updates come out, I will let you guys all know. I appreciate all you. Thanks to all my mods. Thank you, thank you, thank you. A special love to my sponsors. You guys are awesome. Make sure you drop down some of that um, special sponsor emoji love. What legendary bird do I like the most? Um, I love Lugia, to be honest. So, you guys are awesome. Thanks for hanging out with me today. And we'll catch you in the next one. See you guys. Everybody have a great night. Thanks for hanging out. Peace.